Hi, uh, good day Fox. Uh, now uh, we will look into Cloudera Navigator. So it's a part of uh, Cloudera Enterprise Distribution and it provides enterprise grid governance and data management to enterprise Hadoop distribution. Okay, so we can take a look into the installation and configuration and evaluation of Cloudera Navigator. Okay, so first part I will be doing the installation and configuration for installation and configuration so I'll be logging into Cloudera manager and adding the components which is needed for Cloudera navigator so from the Cloudera manager window so go to the Cloudera management service just click that service and uh, go to the instances and uh, we need to add a couple of services for this so uh, select add role instance okay then uh, so this we need to uh, add these uh, two services the cloudera navigator audit server and metadata server so let's uh, let me select the node i think uh, this is the machine where i uh, added the remaining uh, cloudera manager services so let me use the same one 12 okay so or you can use any any machine okay fine and the uh, navigator metadata also so we'll be hosting on the this machine that's it okay so let's uh, select activity monitor also continue so we may need to uh, create a separate database on this particular machine so i am selecting the mysql database and i need to create the database username and password so first for uh, metadata server okay so let me log into this particular machine and uh, mysql hyphen your root hyphen p and provide the password okay so and create database any name okay so metadata server so i am using the name m server then so create user m server at percentage identified by so you can use the password okay so grant all privileges on m server dot start to this particular user okay so use that details okay so m server so you can use any any name so database name is m server and username is m server and the password is password right so similarly create the uh, database and user for audit server create database a server then so create user identified by so this is the password so we can use the password i mean any password but better use some strong password but grant all privileges on so this is our start to this particular user okay so use that details here a server and a server and the password is password and for activity monitor similarly create the database for activity monitor also create database a monitor then create user identified by password then grant all privileges on a monitor dot start to this particular user that's it so use that details here a monitor and the username and whatever the 
password we use and do a test connection so it take uh, some time okay so all uh, three are okay so let me continue so this uh, take some time and again after that we need to start these services one by one so navigator audit server let me uh, start the service and then uh, metadata server and then activity monitor also so this may take some time so we need to select one uh, services one by one and start so once uh, we uh, added and started and it looks like this okay audit server is there cloudera navigator metadata server is there okay, so we will uh, check this audit server okay uh, not audit server uh, this metadata server and uh, here you can see one link uh, which is pointing to cloudera navigator okay so you can go to the uh, metadata server service then uh, you will get a uh, link uh, tab like this cloudera navigator click that and uh, login with admin admin so which is the default initial credential okay so this is how uh, the page looks like okay so uh, we have uh, we can see uh, uh, the features like uh, so search option is there and the audit option is there analytics policies and administration and admin so this is how we can uh, log in log out and uh, change that search is used for uh, searching metadata suppose you remember okay so you know something like some table name or directory name or anything like that say for example let me check a table with fruit okay or or anything okay suppose if i want to search only on the hive then i can select okay so it will shows all the tables or all everything which is related to hive okay so fruit price select that and uh, here you will get all the details okay so what are the table hive table details and other other features okay so uh, also uh, there are a lot of uh, filtering option that we can apply here okay uh, so under search uh, okay so clear all the filters and by default it shows everything so if you want to uh, okay so here on the left hand side we have a lot of uh, filtering uh, conditions so if you want to search something on the hdfs again so here you can just click and if you want to uh, select the based on the size or based on the created time or created timestamp or based on the ownership okay say for example i want to get all, all the files or directories owned by this particular uh, group and it is created so last 30 days okay so you can uh, filter uh, based on this condition suppose if i want to get uh, something hive okay uh, under hive if you want to do search something so you have options like this okay and also the type whether directory table or anything so we have the filter here uh, so those options are available on the left hand side and you can do the search and get the values okay so this is how the search option works okay so you can select the hdfs directories hive and pig and yarn and oc also on the left hand side we have some more filter condition the next tab is audit so audit is very important um, because you will get all the audit information in a single consolidated window okay so everything you get so uh, all the events uh, happened okay so as you know the uh, hadoop uh, i mean cloudera cdh uh, has got lot of uh, analytical engines and lot of uh, tools so it capture all the events and you will get everything in a consolidated window so here also uh, we have uh, uh, options for filtering uh, say for example i i just want to uh, uh, search which is something uh, uh, failed or not allowed so okay so allowed equal to false i just apply that filter i think here nothing is showing 
so let me uh, try some uh, uh, example say for example let me log into hue with uh, some incorrect credential okay so we will try that here so get the hue url okay or uh, okay so again in filter we have uh, uh, a lot of options are there so the properties uh, then operation let me try the operation as query so i think it is showing september 18th so or oh, last 30 days let me uh, make it like that okay uh, see here this is the date again so we can uh, use a custom range so last uh, 30 days or custom range also we can add from uh, which which date which, which date so August 1 to uh, September 8 so it shows everything almost everything so here I, I did a filter with the query so it shows all the queries okay so I can get much more details from here just uh, select that so so what this is the operation so and again uh, so you can uh, get much more details from here also okay so this is uh, how we can uh, get the events okay so all the events let me search uh, filter allowed equal to false then apply that so all the denial uh, messages so all the <coughs> okay so you will get so again you can just filter if you want just last 30 days you can just apply that filter here also okay so this is something okay so let me log into the hue so hue is running on uh, 207 so node 1 is which is now 207 okay so on which machine this hue is running so we will find out that machine name so 188 now this one yes this is the machine and we will take that IP address here and uh, use that information okay I just wanted to show you one uh, denial uh, message okay uh, so here if I am logging with uh, some incorrect credential so that will uh, report here in uh, navigator audit okay so let me do with a b c d and something so which is not exist in the uh, hue okay. so now if i do a uh, filter here see you are able to see that okay so what does it mean okay so the fail to login with this one so impersonator is hue so allowed equal to false this is how we can filter all the events not only uh, some hue so hdfs hive or anything any anything uh, you can filter by using this condition okay so next uh, policies are something like uh, built on top of navigator unified business and operational metadata so you can uh, create the policies for auto archival encrypting and then tagging sensitive details all those things okay so i will be covering uh, these uh, things in detail so how we can add uh, different different policies it's something like some action so and also we can uh, uh, do the um, i mean select that schedule so recurring then uh, once so one simple example is like auto archival say for example if the files are, uh, are older than uh, seven years then uh, do archive that so this is this i can run as a recurring activity so this is how we can add different different uh, policies not only archive something like encryption then tagging sensitive data so these kind of actions i can schedule and by adding into policies so these are the overall uh, looks and feel and how uh, the cloudera navigator looks like and what are the core features it provide i hope you got uh, something uh, very basic understanding on cloudera navigator 
so if you like uh, so please uh, press the like button and also subscribe to my channel thank you bye